I don't get it, Doc. I mean, how can this be happening? It's like we're in hell or something. No, it's Hill Valley, although I can't imagine hell being much worse. Obviously, the time continuum has been disrupted, creating this new alternative reality. English, Doc. Ah, here, let me demonstrate. Imagine this line represents time. This is the present, the future, and the past. Now, somewhere prior to this point in time, somewhere in the past, the timeline skewed down, forming the tangent and creating this alternate reality. Alternate to you and me, but um, reality to everybody else. Now, recognize this? It's the bag the sports almanac came in. I know, because the receipt's still inside. I found them in the time machine, along with this. It's on top of Biff's cane. I, I mean, old Biff from the future. Correct. It was in the time machine because Biff was in the time machine with the sports almanac. Holy shit. You see, while we were in the future, Biff must have gotten the sports almanac, stolen the time machine, traveled back in time, and given it to himself at some point in the past. Huh. Look, it says right here that Biff won his first million betting on a horse race in 1958. He wasn't just lucky. He knew because he had all the race results in the sports almanac. That's how he made his entire fortune. Look, in his pocket. The almanac. <laughs> that son of a bitch stole my idea. I mean, he must have been listening when I... So it's my fault. If I hadn't bought that damn book, none of this would have ever happened. Well, that's all in the past. You mean the future. Whatever. It demonstrates precisely how time travel can be misused and why the time machine must be destroyed. After we straighten this all out, of course. Right. So we go back to the future and we stop there from stealing the almanac. We can't, because if we travel into the future, it'll be the future of this alternative reality, in which Biff is powerful and corrupt and married to your mother, and in which this has happened to me. No, our only chance to repair the present is in the past at the exact point where the timeline skewed into this tangent. In order to put the universe back as we remember it and get back to our reality, we have to find the exact date and the specific circumstances of how, where, and when young Biff got his hands on the sports almanac. I'll ask him.